Hi everybody, my name is Emily and I am a gallery teacher at the Clifford Still Museum. And in just a moment, I'm going to share my screen with you to show you one of Clifford Still's paintings and I'm going to just do a little talk about it here really quickly. Okay, um, I am on our online collection on our website and this is PH621, which Clifford Still did in 1937. I'm going to make it full screen here. Okay, so for this painting, you can see this black and blue and gray kind of all swirling and crashing together and standing up against that chaos kind of down here in the foreground. We have what might be a tall golden plant stock with the tip of another one just barely visible down next to it. And so for me, I'm kind of thinking that this is a storm over a not quite visible maybe wheat field down below here. Uh, feel free to disagree. You might see something else and that's totally fine. But for me, that's what I'm seeing. If it is a field, I'm wondering why we can just see these little bits of plant here and mostly sky. And so that can be partially answered by the fact that Clifford Still actually cut this piece out of a larger painting. So why the heck would he do that? For me, I'm usually drawn to Clifford Still's really big, bright, super colorful paintings, but this one always kind of pulls me back in because of that mystery, why he cut that out of something else. So I don't know, maybe he wanted to make representational work more abstract by cutting out part of it, a more abstract piece. Uh, maybe he was feeling particularly stormy one day and he liked this kind of swirling and crashing and he wanted to isolate that and kind of have the piece echo that emotion for him. Uh, or I don't know, maybe it had something to do with the history or the background of the piece. You can actually go on the museum's blog and read about a separate occasion when Clifford Still had a bit of a falling out with a colleague who had borrowed a painting of his and uh, the guy would not give it back. So Clifford Still actually went to the house and cut out some of the canvas and took it away with him. So like I said, that was a separate occasion. That was actually about 20 years after Clifford Still did this painting. But it makes me wonder why, why he would do this, what kind of passionate state he must have been in to feel the need to kind of cut this out of another painting. And so I certainly don't know, but it's interesting to imagine. So thank you for listening today and take care.